What up, YouTube? It's Kiki Ko, and I'm back at it with another video. If you're new to my channel, hey boo! For today's video, as you guys can see from the title, I got caught giving head two times, two different people, and two different occasions. Two way different places. <laughs> Don't mind my bonnet, I just washed my hair, so I leave it on for a while so it can come out cute. So the first story I'm gonna tell is kind of traumatizing. The second one is a little more dramatic. And in the meantime, I'm gonna just do a little get ready with me. I'm gonna be doing my makeup because I'm going to work and then I'm going out later. So yeah, if you guys wanna know where, what, when, and who, keep on watching. This is a new oil that I'm using. It's called Measurable Difference Rose Hip Oil. This apparently helps like with pimples and fine lines and all that stuff that we don't like. So. I'm gonna just see if it works. I got it in my store in TG Maxx, so I don't know if it's really gonna work, but I was like, let me just give it a try. So the first story that I'm gonna go in with, this is with one of my exes that has happened, and it was in his house. So his whole family was in the house this day. Like, honestly, um, it wasn't like we planned to do anything. You know, it just like, we went to his room, and we was chilling there, you know. I think we was watching Vampire Diaries, if I'm not mistaken. We was watching a show or a movie. And then, you know, we started filling up on each other, regular shmergala. And at first, I didn't want to do anything. So basically, I told them that I didn't want to have sex because his siblings would come in and out of the room, a lot. And then sometimes his mom would be coming in the room, like, just to ask questions and stuff like that. So I said no. But I said, I will give you head though. Wait, let's rewind a little bit. Before like we was filling up on each other, he had already kicked all the kids out of the room because they were watching TV with us. But they were being too loud and stuff, so he kicked them out. I don't know if he kicked them out because they were being too loud or he just wanted to get nasty, I don't know. But he ended up kicking them out. He was like, oh, go to the living room, go be loud over there or whatever the case was. There's a bunk bed in that room, so I was on the top bunk and I literally seen all of them leave. Like I literally seen them all of them leave but since the kids were no longer in the room we went to the bottom bunk because it's just more comfortable and stuff so we're here and this is when he starts filling up on me and stuff like that like i said before he wanted to have sex but i dubbed it i was like no because blah, blah 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 i already told you guys and if you're wondering oh but it's the same thing that how about you was to get called in your head which like i did um the reason i chose to give him head was because my man wanted to get nasty so i'm not gonna say no like ain't nothing stopping me from getting nasty you feel me like i really don't care but we had to do it another way because it's way harder to put your pants up than to just go like that and act like you're just laying down together it's you feel me like you feel me so that's that so whatever i'm here um you know doing my thing like he was laying down on the bunk like that and then his feet was like towards the the floor and then i was like on my knees and then you know i was going crazy with it like feel me like he was really feeling it he was really feeling it like he nutted like faster than usual that day i'm not even gonna lie Ooh, i need a new foundation asap i love this foundation when y'all got fit me foundation can't relate i'll be looking at my man when i give him head you know i just like seeing their face expressions it like makes me feel good so i want to say that he nutted in my mouth and i swallowed because yeah it was only one time that he nutted and i didn't swallow it and it was like the last time that i gave him head so yeah he did so he nutted in my mouth, I swallowed it. <sighs> Yo, I'm just laughing because this this part is like this is this is where it's like no, please tell me, tell me a lie. Like <laughs> Like I I wanted I wanted it to be a lie. Like I wanted it to be a dream or something, like <laughs> Bro why whatever i swallow whatever i look up and i look towards the corner why is this man's seven year old sister in the corner just looking at us like this 
just staring at us like that literally i thought it was like a prank or something i don't know i was like for like a good second like this girl seen it from beginning to end she was in a whole porn scene like this was porn hub to her certain like she was just there watching us the whole time did not move at all none of that none of it so i'm here like yo look and he's like what are you doing here like this girl runs out of the room now is that she decides to run out of the room not in the middle no no no. like we got the job done and i appreciate her for that i'm not even gonna lie like it would have been wack if she would have she would have like you know cock blocked in the middle like girl you did the right thing i honestly don't know if it was that she got caught like in the middle as in like oh like she just didn't want to leave the room and she was hiding remember how i was telling you guys how he was kicking them out of the room in the beginning um maybe she wanted to stay in the room and you know she was hiding and then she was gonna come out like later after like we was like like we didn't care anymore or maybe she just was wondering what we was gonna do and she wanted to know i don't know what it was honestly but i think like she didn't know because she really looked so traumatized this girl did not speak for like three hours and i'm just here like are you okay like i kept coming up to her are you okay and she was just ignoring me um the boy kept going up to her she was just ignoring him like she was just traumatized like literally not speaking not playing with the other kids none of that she was traumatized but you know it's not our fault because we really like i really didn't know that she was there i would never do that while the kids are there you know like come on now like that's crazy like <laughs> it's crazy but it's funny like, i don't regret giving the man head like it's just oh my god i put a correct one fucking idiot let me just fix that real quick as i was saying i don't regret um oh my god don't tell me i put the correct again i literally put it on once again like i'm tweaking Okay, here is my regular concealer. I bought a new one, but I'm not gonna open it up until this one is completely done. Cause girl, we like to save up here. So back to what I was saying. I don't regret doing what I did. I honestly don't. She was just there when she wasn't supposed to. Like this boy kicked them out. She wasn't supposed to be there. She stayed there on her own will. Like girl somebody said you to get out the room you get out the room period why are you cut blocking but it's not her fault because she didn't know or maybe she did and she just wanted to be nosy i don't know but she didn't say nothing about it she didn't tell her mom um the boy went up to her like later on when i left and she she said i'm not gonna say nothing like she he didn't even have to say anything so she was just like i'm not gonna say nothing that's it like, and after that we just never spoke about it again until now now is that i'm speaking about it like <laughs> that's it like it's regular to be honest but you know stuff happens like she's not that young at that age i was watching porn i'm not even gonna lie so so that was the first time the second time that i got caught giving head <sighs> this is something i would never ever ever do again ever you hear me ever to any boy that wants to go out with me that wants to date me in the future or anything or that's dating me right now or whatever you're doing i'm never gonna do this again you heard this wasn't the same ex this was another ex let's say his name is george okay so george took me out to the movies this day we was watching, I don't remember, it was so long ago. We was in 42nd, in Times Square. And like, you know, when you're in the movies with your boy, you start feeling each other and stuff like that. Y'all yeah, start kissing or whatever. And you know, we was doing that. And me just wanting to please my man or whatever. I unbuckle his pants and I start giving him head. 
he didn't tell me to give him head or nothing like that. I did it on my own free will. Um, you feel me? Just me. So I was there giving him head or whatever. And I like, like you could feel when somebody's staring at you. So I felt like somebody was staring at me and I looked to the side, still giving him head. And why I see a girl looking at me, like she was, she literally was like, you know the seats are forward in the movies. She was like this, like, damn, I came like, she was like, literally like just staring at me. And then after she noticed that I was staring at her, I guess that's when she turned around, even though she noticed kind of late. I don't know, it's weird, it was all here. So then she looks at her friend. She was like with three girls. She looks at her friend and she's like, hey, yo, she giving head. She was, they didn't say like that. It was like, yo, she's sucking. I'm like, okay, like. Woohoo, big deal. Happy birthday. So I didn't really care, whatever. Um, I didn't keep on though, cause that was embarrassing, period. Like that was embarrassing. Cause it's like, we're in the movies, like. <laughs> so I stopped. And then she goes, she a dot. I know she was talking about me. Because who the hell else would she be talking about? You feel me? I didn't say nothing because I didn't really care. Because that doesn't make me a thought because, like, that was my man. It wasn't a whole relationship. It wasn't like it was some random boy or, like, somebody I just met or, like, one of my hoes. Like, no, like, that was my man. So it's like, that's not being a thought. You feel me? Like, come on now. Like, we grown out here. Alright, so I was like whatever i kept watching my movie but then as i'm watching the movie it's just something like sometimes like you're too mature in certain situations that is like it might not need a reaction my inner hood was just like if you don't beat her ass if you don't beat her ass i was just there like literally like my, my legs was shaking like and then i was also frustrated because it's like we're in the movies like how embarrassing would it be to get jumped in the movies because she was with three girls and I was with a boy. This was getting me frustrated. So at a point, it was like 20 minutes after. And then I go with my leg and I go BOOM! Now I didn't say boom, but like her chair went like this. Like the shorty really, she looked like she was giving head. Like, feel me? I don't even go like that was mad funny. I started dying like that shit was so funny to me. So I hear her mumble to her friend and she's like, she acting like this movie's not gonna end. So I'm like, oh, grrr, you know what that means. <laughs> you know what that means. So now I'm hyped, like, it's lit, like, what up? So whatever, we there watching the movie. I'm, I'm entertaining the movie now, you feel me? Like, I don't, I don't remember what we was watching, but I was entertained. I was like, grrr, like, it's shit lit now, huh? All right. So the movie ends. And they got enough, but they got enough like not to come to me because we was right behind them. They, they didn't even look at me. They got up and they don't even look up me. So I'm here like wow, confused. Like wait, wait, hold up, hold the fuck up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. And then George wanna be all like wait, hold up, let's see if we if we forgot something. Like, mind you, George never does that, never did that ever until this day. He wanna like wait, hold up, let's see. He sounded like my mom. Like, my mom always does that way. Hold on, let me see if I got something. Like, she always looking behind. Like, we be in the bus. Then she sure will really go back to the bus to see if she left something. Like, bro, what the fuck? So, I'm here like, he acted fishy as there's stairs in the movie theaters. So, they have already gone down the stairs by this time. And they're, like, about to turn. Exit the theater. So, I'm here like, yo, what y'all trying to do? These girls literally kept walking. I know y'all have the same face as me right now, like. And I probably should have ran up on them, but I would have gotten jumped, for sure. So basically, that was that. I wouldn't give head in the movie theaters again, because people will be looking at you, and like, if you get caught, it's like, people are gonna notice before you notice, and that is not a vibe. Let me just apply some highlighters so I can get up out of here, because it's already four, and I'm supposed to leave by four. So yeah, your girl took one hour in the shower today. I didn't know it was possible. Like, when people say I take long showers, now I know what they mean. I was in there bumping and stuff. You already know how I gets down. Nobody in the crib, nobody telling me to get up out. Yeah, it hit different. Before I apply lip gloss, I like to apply a chastic or like blisters or something. 
so that it looks more smooth on my lips. Like this, it applies nice and smoothly. Now taking it all around the world. And in the meantime, I'ma just, you know, you know, you know, you feel me? Do, 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 you feel me? And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and share. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know you guys' opinions on this video. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to turn on my post notifications so you won't miss another one.